Hey guys, I'm glad to see you once again on my channel. In this episode, I have prepared some info about Zoom video conferencing software for you. What is Zoom anyway? Zoom is a cloud-based platform designed specifically for conducting webinars, online conferences, meetings and small group chats. It's a professional alternative to Skype. Every serious business owner has already switched to using Zoom. With Zoom, you are getting instant access to creating a meeting with a shareable link and a unique access via landline phone for those participants without internet connection, sharing your screen and making it possible for other participants to share their screens during the meeting, text chat among the conference participants, recording the online conference for later use. Setting up a Zoom meeting is easier than it can be imagined. After the host has created a new conference, a link is available and can be shared with participants. Those who don't have a Zoom app set up yet are going to be surprised on how simple the installation process is. It is fully automated. That means once the participant has clicked into a link, Zoom would get installed and connect to a conference automatically. Now it's better to see once instead of hearing twice, so let's demonstrate a process of hosting a meeting. If you go to Zoom website and sign up for a free account here, the only thing that you need to specify here is your email address. Since I have one of my email addresses in this auto input field prepared here, I will just choose one of my email addresses here and click sign up. Now I need to click confirm and Zoom would send an email to my e email address with the activation details. Let's quickly go to my email now. And see the message from Zoom. In this message, I need to click sign in button. Uh, it's not sign in button. Let's get back to uh, the message here. Uh, so what I need to uh, do uh, is because I have already signed up for Zoom. I'll just need to specify my email here and the password. But for you, if you're just signing up for the first time, you would need to specify your, your, your first name, your last name and uh, specify new password and confirm the password. That's it. Now let's just click sign in and I would go to my profile here. Inside my profile, I can schedule a meeting to make it happen in future. But uh, for now, I'll just host a meeting right away. So if I go uh, into this link, host a meeting, I would need to choose with video on for this demonstration. And now I click host a meeting with video on and the meeting is being hosted and uh, the Zoom offers me to open the Zoom application. Since I got it installed already in my system, I will just need to click open Zoom meetings. In case you don't have it installed yet, it's just going to set up itself automatically. Now it's connecting to the newly hosted meeting. I would need to click join with the computer audio uh, so other participants uh, would be able to hear me and I will be able to hear those participants. And now I need to invite some people here. Since I have only one laptop and uh, one virtual OS installed on this laptop, I can invite myself as if I were different participant. What I need to do now is click invite here. 
and I can send myself, my, myself an email and this is the easiest way by the way also you have an option to copy the URL the meeting URL and if you send the meeting URL via some other uh, text messaging service uh, another person would be able to just click this URL and join your meeting but for this tutorial let's just click uh, send a Gmail and this would open the Chrome browser and use my signed in Gmail account. I'm going to send the email to uh, another account of mine. Let's see if it's correct. Yeah, it's correct. Now let's click send and I will go to my virtual OS window here and I'll see if I have a message let me check it's not here yet yeah now it's here I have received message from myself please join zoom meeting in progress if I open this email I can see several options. I can jo join via uh, the mobile phone if I'm in US, via the landline, same only if I'm in US. Or for this video, I'll choose Zoom, uh, join Zoom meeting uh, via link. And what I need to do now if I, is I need to click the link. It's going to set up the Zoom application for me now, since uh, this uh, operating system doesn't have Zoom application installed yet. As you can see, it's getting downloaded automatically. I just need to click here. As it suggests here, click Zoom exe. And I need to click Run. Once it gets installed, I'll be able to join my hosted meeting. Depending on your network speed, it takes some time to download the application. As you can see, it's already downloaded amazingly fast. Now just click yes here. And the app is installed and I'm connecting to my meeting. What I need to choose here is a username and I will choose different username. I will choose uh, say John John X here you can optionally turn off your video if you don't want to join with video right away but for this uh, video I'll just join as it is I'll I'll join with default I'll join with default options let's click join and now I'm connected as you can see there are two participants and if I click start video, uh, the camera is not working. I think I need to turn it on. Devices. Uh, let me just quickly do it. I would need to go here. I think I just disabled the camera. I would need to go to this device manager now. Yeah, my camera is stopped by some reason. Just enable it now. Now it's enabled and I can click start video now. And now I can see myself here. It's same if I go to my virtual OS as a second participant. I can also see myself here. That's pretty good. Just to make this demonstration even more exciting, I think I'm gonna join uh, this meeting from my mobile device as well. I would need to just start Zoom application on my Android. Zoom application is available from Play Market. I would need to click join meeting and I need meeting ID. In the meeting ID, I need either meeting ID or the link let me just check the send email here and I see the meeting ID is 
2880455526 now i will join my own meeting as you can see i have another participant joined here uh, it's my uh, smartphone here my android smartphone awesome so we are having three participants join in uh, my face uh, let's just mute this sound for now uh, to not distract us during the demonstration and i just wanted to show you uh, different options so when you're having the meeting you can browse the participants uh, in this right side or if you're not in the full screen they are they're going to be displayed on top here but you can also switch to a different view the gallery view and you can browse all the participants here as the tiles let's switch back to speaker view uh, let's go to full screen now and also we have a chat here and I think I can uh, send a message here from my Android uh, smartphone. Let's just write hello and send it. And you can see uh, I have received my message. Uh, also, I think we have some settings here. It's uh, video settings. You have lots of options. You can uh, enable the HD for better quality, but the speed would be slower depending on your uh, network provider speed. Uh, or you can uh, change the aspect ratio here. And you can also choose the camera uh, to use if you have uh, separate different several different cameras. Also, you can choose uh, the audio options here and you can select a microphone a volume and also you can set up the recording so uh, with basic option with zoom basic option you are able to record uh, meetings and save uh, the recordings to your uh, disk but if you're using zoom pro uh, which is paid version uh, starting 14 bucks per month you'll be able to uh, use the cloud storage uh, of one gigabyte to store your uh, meetings recording uh, you have different options here uh, i hope you got the idea i hope you enjoyed the process and you can see how easy it is to host a meeting with uh, zoom video conferencing if you have any questions, uh, maybe I just uh, skipped something, uh, so you better leave them in comments. Video window can be customized uh, to display a list of uh, participants. I've showed you already how to do it. And you can optionally pin some participants. If you click in here, uh, you, you would see a specific per participant. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the process and can see how easy it is to host and join to a meeting with Zoom video conferencing. Zoom video conferencing application is designed with simplicity in mind. Uh, so uh, its user interface is not meant to be fancy, as you can see, but it facilitates as quick as possible learning for new users and starting the uh, conference as a sap, because uh, usually uh, we, we need to start the conference as soon as possible. Video window can be customized uh, to display a list of participants in two different styles. As you can see, as you've seen already, uh, you can switch to gallery view or a speaker view. Text chat is also available during the uh, call. So you can send either direct messages or you can send message to everyone. You can choose it here. Zoom has proved to be incredibly stable and fast video conferencing solution. It can keep for up to 100 interactive participants and up to 100k 
of uh, passive viewers connected simultaneously. So it's quite stable, as you can imagine. Zoom basic plan allows you to uh, host for up to uh, 100 participants in, in one meeting. Uh, let's just close it now because it's uh, distracting me. And let's go to their landing page back. Uh, so the Zoom uh, basic plan uh, allows you having video conferencing no longer than 40 minutes uh, for one time. Uh, if uh, you ex exceed this uh, amount, you would need to recreate or host another, uh, another conference. So it's perfect choice uh, for small teams that don't have money for paying uh, for monthly plan. But uh, in case uh, you are a bigger organization and uh, you uh, are, are hosting me meetings quite frequently and you need additional features like unlimited meeting durations, uh, one gigabyte of cloud video recording or user management, or maybe you need uh, integrated scheduling for, for your meetings, uh, you can get the Zoom Pro plan and uh, if you uh, visit the link in the description, you'll be able to get a discount of 15% for the uh, annual plan. So I encourage you visiting that page in case you're going with uh, Zoom Pro plan. If you feel like Zoom is something you would like to adopt in your daily meetings, uh, you have you have to choose either the basic or the or the Pro plan. It uh, depends uh, completely on your needs. Uh, so I think that's all folks. All I wanted to share with you in regards to Zoom Cloud video conferencing. If you like this video, feel free to hit that like and subscribe button. So you are the first ones uh, who know of the amazing software out there. And the first ones to get the discounts I'm constantly preparing for you and check that link in the description to get 15% off of a Zoom Pro subscription. Once again, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.